When leaders of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries met in Vienna on June 5th, they hardly lacked reasons to worry, large among which is unusually intense strife among key members. But they also faced ramifications of shrinkage over the past decade in expected need for their oil. That development will outlast in importance their decision to keep the production target they're ignoring at 30 million barrels a day. A comparison of projections made in 2004 and 2014 by the U.S. Energy Information Administration tells the story. In the more recent version of EIA's International Energy Outlook, the forecast for total liquid supply from OPEC in 2020 is 19% lower than it was in the earlier edition. For 2025, it's 27% lower. OPEC leaders recently have asserted determination not to lose market share to higher cost competitors able to increase output. Given recent surges from deep water and unconventional resources, concern is warranted. But OPEC's biggest problem isn't supplies from elsewhere. EIA's projections for non-OPEC supply in 2020 and 2025 fell by 3 to 3.5 million barrels a day between the 2004 and 2014 reports. Greater pressure comes from diminished expectations about market size. To compare the 2004 and 2014 editions of EIA's International Energy Outlook again, expectations for global liquids consumption are down 11.5% for 2020 and nearly 16% for 2025. To be sure, the oil market is expected to keep growing, but the expected rate of expansion isn't nearly what it was in 2004. EIA's 2014 outlook carries the liquids consumption forecast out to 2040. The value that year? 119.4 million barrels a day. That's roughly what EIA's 2004 outlook projected for 2025. Over the past decade, general, generally rising prices, steadily improving consumption efficiency, and fuel switching can be said to have delayed calendar markers for oil consumption growth by 15 years. As economists say, the demand curve is flattening. For OPEC leaders, that means defending share of a market with much lower growth prospects than they could assume just a decade ago. I'm Bob Tippy, editor of Oil & Gas Journal, and that's the editor's perspective that appeared first in text at www.ogj.com on June 1st, 2015.